Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, we will be going through on how to interact with Windows and application. You will learn about the concepts of UI elements and discover the window and element handling capabilities of Power Automate Desktop. Power Automate Desktop uses UI elements to interact with local application user interface and windows. To interact with a UI window and its elements, we must first identify them. To add them to the flow, select the Add UI Element button in the UI Elements tab. A pop-up window will be displayed. This is known as the UI Spy. UI Spy allow the capturing of multiple UI elements. To select the element, you will need to press the Control button followed by a left click. As you can see here, it has generated a window and its elements. Once completed, click Done. If you accidentally click on the Done option and you wish to add a new element, click on the Add UI Elements again, add a new elements and click Done. It will automatically add into the same screen. In this case, we would like to rename this field. You can choose to click on this three dots icon or you can use the shortcut key by pressing F2. It's best practice if you correct the name based on the field so that you is able for you to identify it for further development. Once done, you can close this UI element step. To bring a window to the foreground, you can use the focus window action. You may need to identi identify the windows element. To maximize or minimize the new focus window, you can use a set window state. You can also choose to close the window or if you search for windows, there are many other actions that you can use. For example, populate text field, press a button in a window, select tab in a window or even click UI element in a window. So let's try to create an exercise. Create a robot that does the following, opens any teller demo.xlxs. For each transaction, retrieve the cash in on us check and not on us check values. Enter these values into the any teller demo application. Retrieve the transaction number and update in the new column in the Excel file. In this case, we would like to open any teller demo Excel. So we search for launch Excel. Open the following document and indicate the file path. To show you an example, this is the template that we have. We have three columns, cash in, on us check, and not on us check. Okay, so the first step is done. Next step, for each transaction, retrieve the cash in, on us check, and not on us check values. So in this case, we can use the get first free row and column action. In this case, I able to know that this is the first free row. Sorry, this is the first free column and this is the first free row. Okay. Afterwards, I would like to use a loop action. So in this case, I do not want to start from zero because I want to read the value based on cell. This cell start from 2, row 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so forth. So in this case, I would like to start from 2 and to the first free row. 
minus 1 because I want to read from here until here. I do not want to read until here. Okay, increment by 1 and the variable produce will be loop index. Okay, in this case, next step, what I need to do is read from Excel worksheet. I want to read the value of a single cell. I want to read from A2, A3, A4, A5, and A6. So this will be done one by one in sequence. Start column will be A, start row, loop index. And the variable produce, I would like to rename it as cash in. Do the same thing for the other columns. Once done, let's test this out. Save the flow. And click run. Okay, once done, we take a look over here. The last value that we check for on us check is 974.11, not on us check is 50, and the cash in is 375.59. If we open here and double check, correct. In this case, we can close this Excel file. Okay, the next step, enter these values into the any teller demo application. So in this case, we would like to use the focus window. Let's assume this application is already open. And then we would like to use the populate text field. Okay, for your info, do not drag the wrong action. This is for a window application whereas the web form filling is for a web browser. It will not work if you try to use this action for Windows application or the opposite. So drag the correct action. Select the text field. And pass in the variable. Do this for the other columns as well. Okay, so let's try to test this out again. Done. So as you can see here, it's working perfectly fine. Now, the next step is retrieve the transaction number and update in the new column in the Excel file. Okay, so now, after we populate this text field in the window, we may want to get details of a window. No, get the details of the UI element in a window. We may need to indicate the text transaction number. Select. Set this by default as own text and we rename this as transaction number. Once save. Okay, in this case, the next step is we would like to write 
to Excel worksheet. We want to write on the specified cell. The value to write is transaction number, column. Since we already have the first free column, we use this. And the row, we will start with loop index. And we click save. After that, we can end it off with close Excel. We may want to save and close the document. Okay, let's close this Excel first and try to run. As you can see here, the transaction number did not change. Why? It's because we missed out one step to click on the accept button. So in this case, we can use press a button in window right after we get the transaction number. Or you can choose you can choose to press the button after writing the Excel. But in this case, I would like to do in one screen at a time. So in this case, I click on Run again. So let's double check. So the flow is we are always based on the first free column. So it's, that is the reason why we write the records over here. Okay. So uh, that's all for this exercise. If so if you are keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant update and tutorial videos on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Thank you.